What's the dealio, everybody? Welcome back to Beyond the God TV. This is your host, Bro Gotti. Today, we got an outside the box topic of discussion we're going to go over today. It's going to be the actual simulation. So, we're going to talk about today is we're going to go over the um, binary code for a computer. Uh, also, we're going to talk about if this is a holographic universe, how could it be a pop, uh, holographic universe? And also, what is the purpose of us experiencing this holographic universe? So we're going to talk about those three topics today. All right, so what I'm going to need for you to do before we get started is put your ears. No, 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 no. What I'm going to need for you to do is put your eyes where your ears is so you can see what I'm talking about by listening to what I'm saying. All right, so let's get into the show. Now, the binary code for a computer is a series of zeros and ones, and the binary code for human beings is a series of ones and nines. But those two numbers are identical. So this kind of makes the binary code for a computer and the binary code for human human being, both of them kind of like computer uh, simulations. All right, so now we're gonna go over the binary code for a computer. Now the binary code for a computer is a series of zeros and ones. I can add zero to any number in the world, and it's gonna be whatever number I'm adding to zero. The same principle would apply to the nine. So I can add nine to any number in the world, and that rule would be applicable to the nine also, except for zero. So if I add nine and zero together, it's not going to be zero, it's going to be nine. All right, so now multiplication. I can multiply zero times any number in the world, and that number is going to be zero. Going with the nines, I can multiply nine times any number in the world, and it's going to be nine, except for zero. So if I multiply zero times nine, that number is going to be zero. So now let's deal with the ones as far as adding. So I can add 9 to any number in the world. Use numerology, any number I add to 9 is going to be that number. So 9 plus 1 is going to be 10. 1 plus 0 is 1. 9 plus 2 is 11. 1 plus 1 is 2. 9 plus 3 is 12. 1 plus 2 is 3. 9 plus 4 is 13. 1 plus 4, or oh, 1 plus 3 is 4. All right, so now that's dealing with the addition. So I can multiply 9 times any number in the world, except for 0. And it's going to be 9. 9 times 1 is 9. 9 times 2 is 18. 1 plus 8 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. 2 plus 7 is 9. 9 times 4 is 36. 3 plus 6 is 9. All right, so those numbers are synonymous. So I'm looking at like the binary code for a computer is the same as the binary code for human beings. Now, when I say the binary code for human beings, I mean exterior, outside of us, and interior, dealing with the inside of us too. I'm going to give you a show as far as that breakdown in a, uh, a show uh, in the future. All right, so now, if this is a computer simulation, right? Okay, let's go over as far as um, dealing with the computer. All right, so now, dealing with any type of electronic device, uh, whether it be a cell phone, a laptop, a computer, a tablet, a watch, in all of these electronic devices constantly have to keep getting updated. If they don't get updated, what's going to wind up happening is they're going to move very slow. And from moving slow, they could possibly go into a virus. Okay, so now dealing with human beings. Um, we just went through a worldwide virus. Okay, now keep in mind, I just told you that our binary code was a series of ones and nines. Okay, so now we went through a worldwide virus. The name of the virus was what? COVID-19. So that's kind of letting me know that we just went through a computer simulation, especially by me believing that we are in like uh, a computer simulation, crazy as it may sound. Okay, so now if this is a computer simulation, this would probably be like a three-dimensional holographic universe, all right? So they're telling us that we're dealing with uh, three dimensions. <clears throat> the three dimensions would be front, back, left, right, up and down, or height, width, and depth, all right? so now dealing with um the holographic part if i wanted to create a holograph or a holographic image i would need four ingredients okay now the four ingredients that i would need would be uh actual laser i would need a mirror also i would need lenses and i would need a diffuser okay so now dealing with the laser could you possibly look at the sun as being like having having like laser like effects I would say yes, as far as the sun having laser-like effects. So I would say that's like the first ingredient that we would need. Now the second ingredient we would need is an actual mirror. If there are no waves in the water, and the water is still and, and like it's calm, uh, flat surface on the water, 
could you possibly see a reflection off of the actual water? I would say yes to that also. Now, as far as dealing with the actual vi uh, the virus, it dealing with the actual lens aspect. Okay, so now the lens aspect, if you look at how they're trying to convert our electricity and get our energy or electricity by using, harnessing uh, the uh, solar, and turning it into solar, getting it from the sun. If you look at all the solar panels, all the solar panels uh, have like hundreds of lenses on there. And the lenses is called the uh, Fresnel lens, okay? So now those are the three ingredients that we need. Now as far as we're dealing with uh, actual, the diffusers. So now if you look at any type of green vegetation, plants or anything like that, or people or human beings, you know, these two ingredients uh, absorb light. So this is the job for the diffusers will actually be to absorb the light. All right, so now if this is an actual holographic universe, what would be the purpose of us being here in this holographic universe? Okay, so now what we're going to do now is we're going to actually talk about uh, kind of a touchy subject. We're going to talk about death right now, and we're going to talk about how death isn't as sad as we, I guess, interpret death as being. You know, back in the day when I was like coming up, they used to always tell us to laugh at death and cry your birth. So I'm going to tell you today why they told us that. All right. So now dealing with death. Now, when a person dies, they usually have a funeral. If they can find the remains, they usually have a, f a funeral. Okay. So now we're going to talk about as far as the word play, as far as uh, death or dealing with the word funeral. Now, the first three letters in the word funeral is F-U-N, which is fun. Now, the, for the four, the last four letters in the word funeral is E-R-A-L. Now, if you scramble those words up and you can get a word out of there, and we're not talking about Earl. When I ask that question, a lot of people say the word Earl, but we're not talking about Earl. Okay, now, the last four letters, E-R-A-L, you can get the word real out of there. Okay, so now you can get real fun out of the word funeral. All right, so now, dealing with um, the actual, before the actual funeral, they usually have like a viewing. Now, they have another name for the viewing, which is actually called the actual wake. All right. So now this is my interpretation of everything. Now, OK, so now looking at the word funeral and that whole the wake thing, the real fun does not start until you die. That's when you wake up out of this computer simulation, out of this dream, out of this game, out of this movie called life. All right. So now. This is like the purpose of us coming to Earth and experiencing this holographic universe is to come here to experience death. Because when you go back home, death does not exist. Uh, they tell you that, you know, I talk about heaven and different things that ever for the forever land or, you know, your energy cannot be created or destroyed. You have to come here to experience that one thing, which is death. OK, so now I hope this show was kind of beneficial to you. And uh, what I'm going to do is actually come on here talking about another show in the future, dealing with the actual simulation and talking about, you know, the death aspect and just going over a lot of the wordplay that we use. We're going to do a lot of, uh, I guess, different topics, talking about things that we probably need to gravitate away from and start, you know, creating our own thing. This is your host, Bro Gotti. Hope this information is beneficial to you. Virgo.